my fifth Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a main menu for your game. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is get rid of this cube. Uh, we're going to replace it with a plane. So, X to delete, add plane. Space to add a plane. Okay, next thing we want to select our camera. Right click to select, press N. And let's see, let us reset the location of our uh, camera. So, Alt G, Alt R, location and rotation. Now we want to pull it up. So, if we change this to 3D view and change this to camera, we will be able to see what our camera is seeing. <coughs> okay, uh, maybe pull it up more. Right there. Scale this down. Okay, so that'll be all our background. Now what we want to do, let's just press N and T to get rid of those. Uh, now we want to load the the background image, so go to UV Editor, Image Editor, Image Open, and you want to select the files that I put up for download. Um, the link is in the description. So for me it's in Tutorial Files, Main Menu, Background. Okay, and here you should have a faded black background pack the image. Uh, what packing does is it saves the image in the blend file so you don't have to have the image installed on the user's computer once you publish your game. So now the background is there. We want to UV unwrap. U. Unwrap. Um, let's see how it looks. Alt Z to go into textured mode. It's kind of the opposite so first of all, okay let's see um, okay. Or maybe you reset would do it. Yeah, I guess we need, okay. So we press U reset and then S Y in the UV image editor. And you notice it, it switched the texture. So now it looks, uh, right the way it should be. Okay. Next thing we want to add is our banner or your game's logo or whatever it is. Uh, just select top banner from the list and here it is it has my name on it the reason why they look so simple is because uh, I use those for a website let's see shift D to copy this move it up scale it down okay the reason why it's simple is because I used it for a website okay <coughs> SX to fix that there we go so uh, we go into camera view okay yeah uh, one thing you might want to do is select the camera and go to the properties panel um, go to camera properties and select orthographic what this does is it makes the camera uh, render your menu in an orthographic view that means it wouldn't render it in 3D it it would render it as if it's a 2D uh, 2D application. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll switch this to 3D view camera. Oh no! Wait. Yep, right there, camera. And I will move it down. Okay, so I guess moving it down doesn't work. Well, the scale would work the camera properties nope okay yeah I think this is fine okay so uh, <coughs> you can zoom in with the mouse and there's the basic menu um, I don't know it looks weird when you render it I guess okay we need to add a material you notice that it shades it a bit and adds some spec to it uh, we don't want that, so I'm going to go select my plane and add a material. Let's call this menu background. Make it bright, no spec. Okay, am I do? I think I'm using, no, okay. Let's just use GLSL uh, to show you how, it, how it's done in GLSL. It would be the same method if you're not using GLSL. <coughs> 
add a new texture um, menu background image this should be fine for OpenGL I don't think you need to do more but for GLSL you need to select the actual image and here it is uh, it's shaded right now so we want to make it shadeless there we go and now select the other plane the banner and give it a material banner or your games logo whatever you want to call it increase the intensity decrease the spec shadeless and what shadeless does obviously is it makes it shadeless so it's not shaded call this banner image and select your banner and here it is play looks fine uh, the camera's just like we could just scale it a bit. <coughs> there we go uh, as you notice it's not looking too pretty that's because I'm using uh, website images but once you make your menu you obviously need to make it look better than this okay so now we're gonna add the buttons uh, you know for buttons what you can do is basically just what's going on here okay what you could do is just select the banner and shift D as long as it has no logic scale it down <coughs> alright so now we're gonna load the first texture the play texture so we just select play.png and there's the play texture let's pack it you don't really need to pack it but it's good to pack textures although they do make your file larger and uh, takes longer to save okay so here's the pack texture as you may notice it didn't change that's because I'm using GLSL it should change if you're using um, multi textured but in my case I'm using GLSL so I'm gonna have to add a new material so call this play it's because the material was set actually yeah it was set to have uh, the texture uh, of the banner instead of having the texture of play and that's why it didn't change new play image play here it is make another one open credits next is credits uh, they're the same size so you don't really need to change the UV unwrapping all you have to do is change the material so X new material credits intensity 0 shadeless and now textures so it's just a repeated process for the graphics of the buttons let's call this credits just for organization image or movie credits and you notice it's not packed here so just click that to pack it okay here's my credits button shift the last one <coughs> quit um okay let's put quit on this corner no I think it, okay I think it's fine here I just want to make it perfectly aligned okay so this is gonna be our quit button um, new material for quit intensity shadeless now we want to load our quit texture uh... you may notice that i made the quit red uh... just cause i like it red i guess it's kinda like saying that don't click this if you don't want to do it i don't know alright so select the image it's packed okay so here is our basic menu alright so now what we want to do is have our mouse show and for that we'll need a simple script so we go into text text editor new and call this show mouse dot py okay so I'm just gonna paste it over here I don't remember it um, although it's pretty short import rasterizer with a capital R as R next line R dot show mouse with a capital and in brackets one so what this does is it makes uh, 
it makes your mouse show if you notice it, if you run the game in blender it wouldn't show your mouse so you want the mouse to show um, so you go to logic so you added that script you go to logic because you need logic bricks to run python scripts in blender so add an always sensor and um, actually let I'm, I'm currently selecting the quit button uh, I think I'd rather do it in the camera just because the why do I keep clicking that okay just because the camera uh, wouldn't have any logic in this case so always it doesn't really have to be on the camera it could be on any object Python script and that's all you need an always sensor and a Python uh, controller so here we could just select our script show mouse.py and you run this and you notice that the mouse shows I don't know if you see it in my video but it should work for you guys okay so here we have our mouse show and now we want to give an animation for the buttons uh, so that when the player puts the mouse o move the mouse over it moves the mouse over it sorry you'd have it move or scale so you can scale it you can make it move whatever you want I'm just gonna select uh, make sure you're on frame one um, as you can see over here on the top on the bottom left corner of the 3d view it should say one in brackets and plain something alright so I'm gonna press I location and then I'm gonna press the up arrow key so that it moves at 10 frames and I'm gonna move this a bit and I'm gonna press I location okay so this creates an animation so if you go back to frame one and press the right arrow key and just keep holding it it's gonna do a smooth animation there I'm just gonna go back to frame one alright now select the credits same thing location 10 frames move it try to align it with play just so it looks nice location okay back one select the quit eye location up 10 frames try to align location okay so now they have a basic animation now we're gonna <coughs> sorry <coughs> now we're gonna apply the animation so we're gonna add a mouse and we're gonna change this no we're gonna change the mouse event to mouse over and connect those I discovered the sorts of the problem it's not shape action uh, sorry about that guys F curve uh, so select flipper start frame 1 and frame 11 and it's the same thing uh, set to mouse over and it plays the animation okay so press P to play and you notice that the play button moves when you move your mouse over it you can't click it yet though okay so now what we want to do is okay you want to select the play and then credits credits should be the second and then go to game object okay so select play first credit second object game copy logic bricks okay it's the opposite okay credits play so credit first play second copy logic bricks okay so now credit has the same uh, logic that play has it just saves time so press P mouse over play it moves credit moves okay so quit doesn't have the animation yet so we're just gonna select quit and then credit or play object game copy logic bricks so now they all have the same logic they all move when the mouse is over them okay so that's the simple animation that we're gonna add now what we want to do is we want to set it so that if you click on it it would move you to a scene to your level for example when you click play or whatever uh, so now we're gonna just minimize those I'm selecting play right now um, add two mouse sensors one of them should be the left button because you are gonna click the left button when you select it and the second should be mouse over so what this does is if the mouse is over play and you left click then it's gonna move you to a current scene that's why you need two mouse sensors because if you just make it so that if you left click uh, it would just move uh, to that scene, to that specific scene, even though you might not have the mouse over play 
so that's why it's important to have the mouse over and then we want to select add a scene actuator and connect it scene um, you notice here there's a restart scene we don't want that we want set scene okay so we didn't create that scene yet uh, so let's go over here you notice in scene here uh, we only have one scene let's call the scene main menu now we want to add a new scene so we'll call this we'll make the scene um, empty okay so we're gonna add a cube and a camera just so you know what you're looking at let's add one lamp point just so you can see what you're looking at um, and call uh, actually add a camera okay so let's just go on camera view just to make sure that we're actually looking at the cube and we're not okay there we go so now when we click on play it should load us to the scene with the white cube alright so here's set scene uh, it's called main menu one let's just change it call it play so this scene is called play that's what is going to be loaded when you press play the play button okay so now we press P click on play it should load you to the scene with the cube that should be gray or white depending on your computer's contrast okay so here uh, the play button works now we're gonna select credit and add the same thing you could even use the copy game logic with those like what you could do you could add the same uh, logic that we added to play or you could just select credit and play or select quit credit and play and then object copy logic bricks so now they all have the same logic that play had uh, that's going to create a problem because in this case whenever we click any of the buttons we're going to be moved to the play scene we don't want that so we're going to go to play and create a new scene we'll call this credit let's make it a full copy uh, call it credit but what we're going to do is we're going to change the cube color just so we can tell the difference so we'll go to the properties panel um, materials new keep it a material doesn't really matter this is just for testing uh, let's make it red and it looks weird for red but okay y you can see the difference though okay yeah it does look red. just looks weird in the editor okay so that's the credit scene and we'll add one more and we'll call that let's select full copy we'll call this actually we don't need this okay yeah uh, quit's gonna be quit sorry about that okay so on main menu credit go back to logic editor here it's set to play we want to change credit to set it to credit and quit we want this to quit the game I just mistaken this for a menu button we want it to quit the game so uh, here at scene set scene you want to change that to um, no actually no you need to change scene to game and then you want to click uh, change uh, game start new game you want to change this to quit this game and now what you will notice is press play takes us to this cube press credit takes us to the red cube and quit would return us to the editor uh, if it if you're running this on Windows like your or Mac or whatever like a uh, once you export your game to an executable the quit would actually close it it wouldn't return you to the editor or whatever but because we're editing right now blender would return us to uh, e uh, to editing mode so this here's a basic menu that you that you could use for your games what the hell okay uh, <laughs> sorry sorry about that guys okay here's a basic menu that you could use for your game um, I hope you found this tutorial beneficial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials